Today I'm going to show you how to make my no spread cookie recipe. Here's the recipe and I'll put it below as well. I'm doing a half recipe today so I'm starting with uh, two sticks of unsalted butter. To that I'm going to add a cup of sugar and we're going to cream that together for five minutes. I'm going to stop at the halfway point and scrape the bowl down and then I'll continue mixing it. You want it to get really light in color and if you give it about five minutes then that lets the sugar dissolve into the fat better. Okay, then you're going to add your egg. I incorporate it and then I scrape the bowl down and mix it some more. Okay, and then to prepare your flour mixture, you add the baking powder and the salt. I mix it together and then I add this to my mixture in batches. Um, I usually do three batches. I let it completely incorporate and then I add some more, but I skip that for the purposes of the video. And then you're going to add your vanilla and your almond extract and you're going to beat it again. Okay, I like to roll my dough out between two pieces of parchment. I don't like to incorporate any more flour than is absolutely necessary. Plus this makes it easier to move to the fridge. You're going to want to refrigerate this for at least an hour before you bake. That's what helps it not to spread. It gives that butter a chance to firm back up. So here I'm cutting my snow globe shapes. I have a piece of parchment, or a, I'm sorry, I have a parchment lined cookie sheet just off screen that I'm going to put everything on. One of the nice things about this recipe is because the dough is so hard you really just break it away. And I have found that when you want to incorporate the pieces back together to roll and cut more pieces out, the easiest way to do that is to fold the paper in on itself. It brings everything right to the middle. So just like that. Okay, and the second set of pieces I'm rolling out, I'm going to put on a cookie sheet and put back in the refrigerator until I'm ready to bake them. You're going to bake at 350 for eight minutes. Um, the most I've ever left them in is nine minutes. You don't want to leave them in too long. They will get firm as they're cooling anyway. So there you go. I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching and be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and leave any comments below if you have any questions for me. Thanks so much guys. Bye.